demarcation problem of demarcation it's saying this the science is something which can be empirically uh, observed and we can empirically testify it. that's what science is and when we go to the non-science non-science is which is uh, not science actually for example you love your son is it your son yes. okay you love your son it's nothing to do with the science and you are not saying this is scientific yeah so that however, there's however, uh, you can scientifically <coughs> show energy moving yeah i'm coming to this point my body yeah i'm coming to the my point I, my yeah, yeah i'm coming to this point but i'm coming to the let me just say yeah. i am not I'm not so interested in the definition of, I mean, I understand there's a definition of science. No. I am just saying for myself, I, unless I create mythically in my mind God, which I did as a child because I was raised as a Catholic. Okay. I do not otherwise in my life feel okay. a presence that can be definable beyond what I want it to be or can think it into being. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. Nor would I say, do I need God. Excellent point. I need love. I, I, I need okay. caring. I work to, on ex climate change. I, I give into the universe. The universe gives back. No problem. That's okay. No problem. No. I, I, yeah. You know, no. No. Defining, no. Like, <laughs> yeah. No problem at all. So what we are saying is the. Uh, I think the discussion has started from the evidence, right? That we don't find the evidence. That's that we need to really understand. That's the, the evidence. How actually? how evidence work? We don't have only the empirical evidence, or we don't have only the scientific evidence. For example. Okay, give me evidence of God. Yeah. So, for example, yeah, there, that's, that's the point. So we need to understand yeah. what evidence could be used for what things. Yeah, give me an example of evidence. Okay, good. So, for example, if you say that H2O, yeah. two mole hydrogen and one mole oxygen yeah. coming together and mixing up, making water. Yeah. yeah? That's the empirical evidence. You can prove it empirically. Yeah. If I tell you this, that, can you empirically prove Chinggis Khan exists? You can't because empirically. You can infer it. You can make inferences. So, yeah. so, so, so what, what, why I'm saying? What, 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 yeah, I will, no, no, what, yeah, what I'm saying. No, no, I'm coming to this point. No problem. No problem at all. So, no problem at all. What I'm saying is this. So, we are using historical evidence to see whether Genghis Khan exists or not. Yeah. For example, someone kills someone in in a boat, right? Yeah. So no one see it except two or three person. Then what what Jazz do? Jazz is taking that there are evidence as testimonial evidence. Yeah. They will say three of them will say, okay, we see he shoot this guy yeah. and killed him. Yeah. So we are getting the testimonial evidence. We are getting the historical yeah, evidence. We are getting testimonial evidence. I have a sister law who's a born again Christian. Okay. She thinks humans began. 4,000 years ago because that's what the Old Testament says. Yeah, I don't so, believe that. Yeah, it's just subjective. Testimony is highly subjective. Can, 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 can be disproved, yeah. yeah. Testimonial evidence. But at the same time, uh, we can we can see that testimonial evidence is proved as well. For example, if you go to the court, every single day, people take the testimonial evidence. There is something happened, then obviously police will take five people and take their testimony and it will be as I've, evidence. I've spoken to many people okay. who give testimony to God. No, I'm not, not saying the testimony of God. Not I'm not saying, I'm not saying about this. I'm basically saying that the, we don't have only empirical evidence in our real life. Yes. We do have other kind of evidence. Yes. So yes. we can't really put the empirical evidence to see who the God is or to observe who the God is. And it's going... Just one point to add on. The reason why, the reason why we cannot apply it because it's the limitation <coughs> of empiricism. When you have the limitation, then you cannot apply it. Right? Well, we could, right. we could, we so could that, say that for everything. Now, no. So there are pink elephants in the sky, and, no, but and that, that, unicorns, that's a let, let, let's just call that I'll, the I'll limits of empiricism, and yeah. we can't prove that they exist. So when the empirical, we know that we don't have the empirical evidence for that. So it's not about <clears throat> empiricism anymore. Now, the following step is the deductive reasoning. And that's why you can say, okay, how can we deductively come to the point yeah. whether can something come from nothing? Or maybe nothing. Can you prove that it, it didn't? No, I've defined what is nothing. Do you know what is nothing? You define it. You okay, you know. absence of everything. Okay, can, I, can, I, uh, can I ask one question? Yeah. Who, ba who baked the baker? Yeah. Who made the what? Who baked the baker? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come to this. We'll come to this. Yeah. There should be. There should be baker. Who baked the baker? Yeah. So what, what I'm saying. And if the baker is God, then who baked God? Okay. Okay. We're, we're coming to this point. We're we're coming so to this point. Baking, no problem. Baking doesn't apply. Oh, we're, we're, oh, I see. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you see the paradox there. Uh -huh. So that's why 
this is where fundamentally we are because god cannot be big so we are implying why not some why can't god be yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, auntie, uh, it's only possible why i'm saying when you know more than god let, let's 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 let, let's 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 okay let's put some some you have to, to, you have to listen let, to let's let's put some common statement okay, yeah let's, let's put the voice speak. yeah do you have anything you would like to say young child so we we given you two proposition okay. where something come from nothing where self creation possible or the third third possibility tell us something else if you know if you don't agree with this and we are saying by default is someone bring the creation to this brother what we are saying actually just to paraphrase again we are saying this the from our sound reasoning and the from the reality we see this that everything has the something behind it everything has the for example if i say this uh, jacket comes from nothing you will never believe that yeah if i said this jacket come by itself you will never believe that what's the rational belief that's that it come from something else someone made it some company made it some company manufactured it that's what we are saying so what we are saying in, in as following this the this universe is came to an existence in 13.8 billion years ago according, according to the uh, according to the uh, sci according to the science so what we are saying this the whether this universe come from nothing from the probability or it come by itself or uh, it come it came to an existence by something else why do we necessarily have to say that it has a beginning but it has a beginning that's that's the fact it's, it's not a theory it's a fact it's a, okay let me give you yes yeah, so, so let me give you one theory then why the universe has to be the fact uh, universe has to be has to have the beginning did you hear about the law of thermodynamics how thermodynamics work like entropy yeah, yeah ex excellent so what the entropy said this the according to the second law of thermodynamics it's in a spontaneous time this the entropy will in increase right that's the second law so if you if you go back if you go backward meaning entropy will decrease so and if we if we go backward to the time and space then entro entropy has to be minus meaning the negative entropy right but what it says this the negative entropy is impossible for the cosmo for for this universe and universal entropy cannot be negative therefore universe has to be has, has the starting because universe if universal entropy cannot be negative there meaning there is a starting point of this universe by the second law of thermodynamics which do you understand now so universe has a beginning it's, it's a factual thing we can't disagree with this no scientist says the universe does have the beginning yeah so what we are saying is this this if universe does have a beginning yeah so then what's the source the source can be either it's come from nothing it come by itself or it's brought to an existence by someone else right so if we go to the uh, first uh, option or first uh, first point that's the can the universe <coughs> come from nothing the what will be your answer okay so let's check the answer if you agree or not when we're saying the nothing yeah nothing means uh, the absence of everything and anything would you agree with this nothing means absence of everything no time no space no matter no quantum nothing absence absence of everything so absence of everything cannot create anything right because if if you go to the deductiveness then if nothing is absence of everything therefore nothing is nothing so nothing cannot create anything right not anything is everything well but i mean compared to nothing anything of any scale is everything for example this shirt is not you right. this shirt is a thing but it's not you right. so anything is not everything everything you, what you can say you can give the premise like this everything is a thing right. Do you understand? If, if this shirt was the only thing that existed, it would be everything. In that time, yes. In that in that time. Good. So what I'm saying is this: the universe, yeah, come from nothing. It's impossible because because nothing cannot create anything, right? Then going back to the next point, can the universe create itself? Um, Think about it. Then answer. I think we have to go. Yeah. Know, or, or no, let's say a little well, bit. I don't know. I feel okay. like a coward. No, no, no. Running away no, 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 no. Please, go. Yeah. Is the idea really that there is nothing at all? Because I thought it was more that there is a point of super concentrated mass which expanded. Or yeah, so. The idea that it came into existence spontaneously, or what was the explanation? Yeah, so so universe come to an existence, right? Mm -hmm. the, we're talking about the before, before, before this. What happened before? 
So we are saying nothing cannot create itself, nothing cannot create the universe, or nothing cannot bring the universe to an existence. So therefore, there's, we can check the next point, whether universe can universe came to an existence by itself. So it's impossible to come to an existence by itself. Why it is impossible? If I say I exist and I don't exist at the same time, it goes with the paradox. It goes against the against the consistency. It goes against the existence. Because if I say I exist and non exist at the same time, it doesn't go with the rationality or any other way, right? So therefore, universe has a starting. It depends on something and has a beginning and it doesn't come from nothing and it doesn't come by itself therefore there has to be something which create the universe and which has to be beyond the universe right would you agree on this premise yeah okay but wouldn't you say that if there is nothing you can't apply the normal laws of causation no we are not saying because nothing if there is nothing is it not inevitable that something has to happen sorry so if we are saying nothing, no, no, nothing is, is impossible like a 50 -50 no 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 what we are saying this is that coming from nothing is impossible in right. any way shape or form so you can't apply the nothingness in, in a first place uh -huh. so therefore it has to be something so we are saying this is the two brought this universe to an existence this being or this individual or this thing has to have the free will because you have the free will that's why you are talking with me right you have the free will that's why you came to the speaker scorer so it has to have the free will and it has to have capacity to bring this universe to an existence right and it has to have the independency to bring to the universe to an existence right and it has to be one what do you think? Well, does that posit, therefore, that whatever this free will is God existed eternally before that point? Because are you saying that there's no beginning to God? It's existed eternally, yeah. In which case, how, how can something exist eternally and then at some point in eternity decide that everything should exist? How does that mathematically Good work? Good point, yeah. So what we are saying is this. This that you need to understand the difference between the creator and the creation, right? So in the Quran, it says the laysa kamislihi shay about the creator. Right. There's the nothing like the creator. So God or the creator in, in from, from our point of view is unlike the creation. What does it mean? For example, if you make a phone, if you're a designer of a phone, it doesn't mean that you are a phone. Right? So you are a human being, but phone is different. So you create this phone. You created it, that's true, but you are not a form. Yes. So, God is unlike the creation in any shape, way or form. Right. So, why God has to be eternal? Right? That's, your, that's your question. So, the answer is, if there is a chain of dependent things, what I mean by dependent things, meaning, which depends on something else, right? If there is a chain of dependent things, they cannot depend on other dependent things for eternity. For example, if we depend on this universe for our, for our existence, so universe has to be stable if we want to exist. If universe is not stable, we cannot exist. If universe go away from, from the circle, for, for the rotation, then we cannot exist, right? So therefore, for our existence, it's necessity for the universe to be stable. So if we check the chain of the all the dependent things, so there, it, there, it, it is the necessary to have the one, the creator or the originator who is eternal. Because these all the dependent things cannot depend on something which is dependent as well. Then what will happen then? If the dependent things depend on something else which is dependent as well, then there will be the chaos and there will be the chain of dependency will break at a certain point and we'll, we'll get the you know, different things and it will, the universe will split and the everything will be split out. For example, if the sun stop rotating in his own axis, then it, the universe will be destroyed. So there has to be something, if you look at the dependency, all the dependency, there has to be some point where dependency things stop and depend on something which is independent and which is self-sufficient, doesn't depend on anything. So therefore, it has to be there to have the universe or other dependent things to be an existence. Do you understand? And what we are saying is this, in the Quran, it says, the, and we are saying this has to be one. Do you agree with this?
I would say it's a compelling argument for some kind of creative source. But I would ask you, do you think that that the argument of whether or not there is a, a, a source of creation is it not separate from the argument of whether any specific text is the correct uh, history of that? Is that not a separate argument? Yes, yes, there's a separate. So, so what, what, yeah, yeah, what, what is a creation? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Right. So. We are simply arguing this the is there a creator or not creator or not so we can go further this the which religion or which uh, which uh, theological point of view taking the original taking the source or taking the rational point of view who the creator is for example if we if we say this that this creator is independent the one has to be independent to create this universe the one has to have free will to create the universe or create the everything the one has to have uh, the all knowledge to create the universe and then the one has to have free from every aspect of our human being to create the universe right so what we are saying is this this in islam it says in uh, surah al-ikhlas it says it says allah is the one say allah is one meaning he is the one so as we agree this it's impossible to have multiple right so there has to be one quran is saying there is one then it says allahu samad it says god is self self-sufficient and we can understood from rational point of view that's that this being who is the originator of everything has to be self-sufficient by necessity right and then quran says lam yalid wa lam yulad and this god the originator of everything doesn't have father doesn't have mother or doesn't have any children because if he does have meaning he is depending to something else so by necessity he has to be free from all the human all the nature of human human beings as quran says there is nothing like the creator then it says there is nothing equivalent to this creator so if there is something equivalent then it again goes against the rational point of view and the point uh, uh, you know sound reasoning that there is something equivalent to the creator then obviously he cannot be creator so this is saying there is nothing equivalent yeah now, you refer to him as an individual but how what, upon what authority can we speculate about the nature of this creative thing okay so excellent point so for the nature of this uh, creative thing we need to be agreed on some point that's that if if the premise is this that's that this universe is starting and it came to an existence therefore this the originator has the free will to come to an existence to bring to an, to an existence right and this originator has to be self-sufficient to bring something to an existence would you agree okay and this originator has to have the all knowledge to came to to bring to something to an existence or anything right good and this creator has to be one right would you agree on this <clears throat> why would you make a distinction between the creator and the creation <laughs> okay good the creation is something which depends to the something else and the creator is someone who doesn't depend on something else because the creation came from the creator creation was made by the creator creation is the originate from the creator but the creator doesn't have the origination from something else so because that's the distinction as i said this that your phone is not you you are the different from your phone so that's very simple that the creation is different than the creator creator is someone who created everything but creation is not the crea uh, the, the creator of of the first being say that all creation is not simply an expansion of whatever the creator is not really so in this sense if you say this the creator has the knowledge of all creation yes i agree with you this uh, from from the knowledge of the creator everything has been created right. i agree yes i in this point i agree with you and we said the alim al ghaibi wa shahadati wa rahman rahim allah is all knowledgeable we say allah knows what we see allah knows what we can't see allah knows what we can possess allah knows what we can't possess meaning obviously all the creation is within the knowledge of the creator yes right. yes we agree now i wonder i'm sorry i'm ignorant but you, would you say that the quran is the word of god yeah we said this what, what is the distinction is it created or uncreated we say the quran is the word of god it's not the created right. it's not the creation it's the word of god no. so word of god is different than the creation right you make something and you, you are saying something you are saying something it's not the creation right you are uh, you are making something it's the creation for example you make a phone it's the creation of you but your word is not the creation of you right so there's a difference that Allah Quran is the word of God we say the Kalam Allah Quran is the word of God and the creation uh, all the creation obviously the creation yeah that's what we say and we believe this that 
the creator send the messenger for example if you make a phone very fast uh, the, you are the first person who made this phone right. so what you'll do you will send a user guidance right you will give a user guidance how to use this phone don't use this phone this way you can't you uh, use this this on the apps right. if you go to the watcher the phone will destroy it yeah you will give the user guidance well, what what we believe this the this creator as he's independent and self-sufficient and all knowledgeable so he knows what we need right he knows what, what's our need he knows what we need to do so he give the guidance so we believe that there is a two part to believe one is tawhid another one is risala tawhid is believing oneness of god and risala is this creator send the guidance for the human being in different different time for example at the time of abraham at the time of ishmael at the time of moses jesus for all of them the creator send the message for the human being as the guidance right so take the guidance and follow the guidance so you'll get the ultimate happiness so the point is why we do need guidance right for example you can say okay god can give the book why he needs the messenger why he send the messenger <clears throat> if i ask you a question that the for example are you a student are you a student which what, what do you study history history so if i give you a book of calculus okay. yeah just just Thank one minute you. just one minute yeah if i give you a book of calculus and i said take the book i'll take the exam tomorrow right but you never study calculus will it be justice or unjust unjust, unjust. what will be the justice if i give you a book of calculus and i give you three years of time and i am saying after three years i expect you have the good t-shirt with you i expect you will pass the exam it is the justice right yeah. so god did the same things he didn't just give us the book he gave us the messenger as well he gave us the book with the messenger so messenger can teach the book and we will not have the, any excuse okay god you gave the just book we don't have any messenger god give the messenger and the books and the difference between the islam christianity and judaism is this that the judaism doesn't accept prophet muhammad islam or the jesus alayhi salam right and the christianity they are accepting uh, Jesus but they are exalting the Jesus at the level of God what Jesus didn't uh, uh, promote and Islam is the only religion in the planet which is taking God oneness of God and explaining this the we accept all the prophets it says la nufarriqu bayna ahadin min rusuli that's the mu'min the believer will not make any differentiation between the prophets we accept all the prophets we accept all the books we say wa rusulihi. we believe all the previous scripture we believe all the rasul rasul means the messenger who came with the message we believe jesus moses abraham everyone that's what the difference between islam christianity and judaism look at him brother thank you take care of yourself thank you alhamdulillah there is a nice discussion with this brother may allah guide him may allah guide all of us